everyone, it's Nina. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a no-line watercoloring card as well as matching envelope. I'm going to be using this Hello Spring Newton's Nook Design stamp set. I really love this. This is a brand new stamp set for them. So I'm going to be doing a lot of watercoloring and this took quite a bit of time to do. So I'm going to go ahead and let you watch the coloring and then I will come back when I go to finish up the card and create the matching envelope.
right, so now that I finished up my coloring, I just added a little bit of detail with a white gel pen, and now I'm going to be creating my envelope using this mixed media Canson XL watercolor paper. I'm going to be using the 123 We Are Memory Keepers punch board, and you can see you can use this to create a lot of different things. We're going to be using it to create our envelope. On that left hand side, you can see all of the guidelines for creating different sized envelopes. I'm going to be doing this A2 size card here. You can see you're going to go on to cut your paper at 8 and a quarter inches square. And then you're going to start your first score line at 3 and 5 eighth inches. So here's my watercolor paper. It's all cut down. And I'm going to line this up on that line that it mentioned. It was the 3 and 5 eighth inch line. I'm going to punch and score along line A. And then I'm going to turn my paper and I'm going to line that score line right up in the center of that other cross mark over there. And I'm going to score again. And I'm going to repeat this until I have all sides of my paper scored. Once I've scored my paper, you can see I've got all the punch marks and score lines. We're all set to go for the next step. So I'm going to bring my punch board down and I'm going to go ahead and line this up into the corner. This is going to create rounded corners for my envelope. So that way it has a nice finished look and I'm going to go ahead and do that to the top sides of this envelope. I'm not worrying about the sides because they're going to get covered up by the front flaps. And I'm going to add some adhesive along the little flaps to go ahead and hold my envelope together. So you can see we've got a perfect little envelope here. And once I have that all flattened out, I'm going to go ahead and show you how the card fits perfectly inside this envelope. You can see it's going to be a perfect fit and it's going to have a little bit of room. And then I'm going to stamp the flowers that I used on the card along the bottom edge of this envelope. Now I'm not going to show you the coloring because I colored them exactly the same as I did on the card. But I wanted to show you how I created this envelope very quickly so that way you can go ahead and create some for your cards as well. So I hope this has inspired you to do some no-line watercoloring of your own. Be sure to head on over to my blog where you can get more information on this card including still pictures and products used. If you enjoyed this video, here's another one you might enjoy featuring watercoloring techniques. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you can connect with me on social media at Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube as well as my blog. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.